10월 6일 박옥수 목사 및 전도여행팀이 도착한 곳은 10개 도시 중 여섯 번째 도시 뉴올리언스입니다. 지난 8월 29일 허리케인 아이다로 입은 피해가 복구되지 못하고 여전히 남아있는 뉴올리언스. 16년 전 카트리나의 악몽을 다시금 떠올리게 한 이번 허리케인 피해로 뉴올리언스 시민의 80%가 주변 도시로 대피했습니다. 그 여파로 CLF 컨퍼런스 준비에도 차질이 생겼지만 뉴올리언스 교회는 허리케인으로 상처받은 시민들에게 복음을 전하자는 마음으로 일정을 재정비했습니다. 그렇게 6일 오전 뉴올리언스에 도착한 박옥수 목사. 곧바로 목회자들과의 면담이 연달아 진행됐습니다. 첫 면담은 호마 등대의 빛교회 허벌트 앤드류 목사. 그는 CTN에서 방영된 박옥수 목사의 요한복음 강해를 시청하고 참된 진리를 전하는 복음에 놀랐다고 전했습니다. 이번 면담 또한 박옥수 목사의 방문 소식을 듣고 먼저 요청해온 것으로 알려졌습니다. 박옥수 목사와의 면담에서 그는 자신이 확실히 의인이 됐음을 간증하며 이 복음을 앞으로 어떻게 전해야 할지 박 목사에게 묻기도 했습니다. Well, meeting, meeting Pastor Park was uh, absolutely wonderful. It's, um, it was a tremendous blessing for me, being that I have been preaching uh, the gospel of grace uh, for about five years, and um, just to have an opportunity to meet someone who has been preaching and walking in the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus for 60 plus years, almost my entire lifetime, that was absolutely amazing. The thing, that, the thing that impressed me most was uh, the fact that everything that he, everything that he talks about, um, he, he, he points, everything points to Jesus. Um, when, you talk, when you look in the Old Testament, um, just the understanding that, that the Old Testament is, is, is filled with hidden pictures of Jesus that, um, that for, the, for ages the church has, has literally ignored. To be honest, to, to, hear, to hear Pastor Park talk about how our sins are completely forgiven, how, how the gospel is about faith in Jesus Christ and not uh, us working to uh, be able to be forgiven for our sins. For me personally, um, it, it, it blessed me because it confirmed for me that, that what we're preaching and what we're teaching is the gospel of Jesus Christ because uh, that's that's how that's what we're teaching that's what we're doing we are leading people we are teaching people that all of their sins are forgiven and that we are righteous by faith he who knew no sin became sin for us that we might become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus so to hear to hear someone um, of his stature to hear someone who's been walking with God as long as he has say to me the same things that I'm saying to our congregation, it, it, it builds my, um, it, it helps me, it, 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 it fueled me and refueled me in order to go back and continue to do what we're doing. I think it's a great, uh, it's a great, um, uh, a great move of God that he has established. And I really believe that it's something that uh, not just myself, but um, many, many other pastors should be involved in. Uh, because at this time, we have so many of us who are preaching uh, with a good heart, who really want to help God's people, but have a limited understanding of the true gospel of Jesus Christ. And I, I, I really believe that um, uh, what Pastor Park is doing and teaching and instructing and making this available to pastors, I think it's a wonderful thing in this season because in this season what we need is the gospel of Jesus and not this works mentality or this works um, gospel that we that we've been uh, ministering. 두 번째 면담은 미국 최대 교단인 남침례 교회에서 흑인 최초로 목사를 역임한 프레드 루터 목사. 그는 현재 뉴올리언스에서 성도 5천여 명이 출석하는 프랭클린 에비뉴 침례 교회에서 심무하고 있습니다. 약 40분 가량의 면담 동안 박옥수 목사는 로마서 3장 말씀을 가지고 복음을 전했고 루터 목사는 면담 후박 목사가 전하는 순수한 복음에 대해 감탄하며 소감을 전했습니다. It was a great honor meeting Pastor Parks. I've heard so much about him. I've seen him on the internet, seen him on the TV programs, 
and just to see him in person, I was very impressed with how excited he gets about the gospel. He gets, he's really passionate about the gospel and I can see that and hear that in that room it was just him and me, but he seemed like he was preaching to thousands. <laughs> so I was excited to see that. But the thing that impressed me the most was how he kept saying that we cannot keep the law. There's no way we can keep the law. We have to believe, trust, and put our faith in Jesus Christ. He's the only way, he's the only truth. We cannot, we cannot do it of ourselves. We gotta put our faith in God. And I, I received that from Pastor Parks. Uh, Pastor Park said it well, uh, I think the challenge we have in America is reaching out young people. Uh, many of them have gone astray, many of them have no direction, so some way, somehow, we've got to get the gospel to our young people to change this nation. 저녁 5시, CLF 컨퍼런스가 열릴 생명의 센터 교회에서 이번 컨퍼런스를 주최한 더글라스 와일리 비숍과 박옥수 목사가 만났습니다. 와일리 비숍은 뉴올리언스 교회가 허리케인의 피해로 새로운 CLF 장소를 구할 때 기꺼이 교회를 내어줬고 뉴올리언스 남쪽 지역 목회자들을 초청하는 데도 큰 힘이 됐습니다. It was a tremendous experience. He's a great man of God. And we are so moved by the way the Lord is using him to touch the world. So to have him here was a marvelous experience. And his message was powerful. It was penetrating. And it's much needed in a world such as we're living in today. I was particularly touched by the point that he made on the two times that God wrote with his finger. Now, he was dealing with the new covenant. And he dealt with that very thoroughly. But when he said that God wrote twice, and the second time he wrote was the woman caught in the act of adultery, really expanded my thinking about how the new covenant became a reality, not just a concept. That was a very powerful thing. That touched me very deeply. No question about it. Uh, from the moment I heard about this tremendous organization, I, I was excited about it. And I, I shared with him, I'm looking forward to keeping contact with him and learning more about the CLF and becoming involved. Pastor Sue Park is God's messenger to the nations, the gospel of Jesus Christ. His message is a simple message of God's forgiveness and God's love. And it is evident that the hand of God is upon his life. And we just praise God for him. His, his spirit, his humility, and his heart is so evident. It's a joy to have met him and have him in our church and in our city. New Orleans CLF Conference was started. 루이지애나주 연방 상원 의원인 빌 카시디가 보내온 감사장 수여식이 있었습니다. 빌 카시디 의원은 허리케인으로 고통받는 뉴올리언스 시민들을 크리스마스 칸타타와 말씀으로 위로하고 치유하는 것에 감사를 표했고 상원 의원 오피스 코디네이터이자 생명 하나님의 성회 교회의 웨이드 무디 목사가 상원 의원을 대신해 감사장을 수여했습니다. Giving a congratulatory letter um, certificate for Oksu Park, which for me was a great honor, because uh, I have met him uh, in other conferences in in Atlanta, and also I've uh, read many of his books and followed many of his teachings, which have been a great blessing for me. The message is uh, is what I like so much about not only today but many of the messages and his teaching is the clarity. And the the truthfulness of going back to the Bible and making it very clear. Uh, he's a very good communicator, uh, not only with the Word of God, but with the stories and the uh, anecdotes that he shares about uh, helping us understand better about. In this case, today was about the new government and and the law. Uh, they're enlightening and they help us understand better. What God is trying to teach us through His Word, so uh, the the clarity and of course the 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 enjoyment of hearing Him telling the stories and the enthusiasm that He has about sharing the testimonies and the wonderful things that's happened. So uh, that's always been something that's blessed me very much, and I enjoy greatly. 본격적으로 시작된 CLF 컨퍼런스. 주최자인 더글라스 와일리 비숍이 사회를 진행했고 이번 뉴올리언스 집회를 처음 기획했던 데릴 브리스터 비숍이 환영사를 전했습니다. 
브리스터 비숍은 박옥수 목사를 이 시대에 참된 하나님의 사람이자 강력한 설교자라고 극찬했으며 그레시아 스합장단의 공연 후 박옥수 목사가 강대상으로 올라올 때 참석자 전원이 기립해 박수를 보냈습니다. 그리고 약 90분가량 진행된 설교. 박옥수 목사는 예레미야 31장을 통해 새 언약에 대한 말씀을 전했고 250여 명의 목회자들은 큰 소리로 환호하고 박수를 치며 그 말씀을 마음에 받아들였음을 표시했습니다. It was incredible once again to hear Pastor o k s u p a k live and to see the word of God come alive. It was a memorable experience. What revelation went for tonight? Just to know for so long throughout our tradition, we've only been taught the law and not the new covenant. But the new covenant signifies and let us all know that we have been justified by Jesus Christ. I wanted to just mention, as I was sharing with my wife the other day, it's a blessing to see someone who has come to such global status but have not lost the common touch of the everyday man. His hope, his heart is just huge. Everyone, if you can connect The CLF, you need to, in this day and time, we're living in the most significant strategic times in the history of our nation and our world, and we need the Word of God taught in an accurate way so that we can apply and be benefits. 강도 만난 자를 치료해 준 사마리아인의 마음, 바로 그 예수님의 사랑으로 허리케인이 할퀴고 간 뉴올리언스 시민들의 마음을 치료하고 기쁨으로 채워준 뉴올리언스 CLF 컨퍼런스. 이 기쁨의 여운을 뒤로 하고 박옥수 목사 일행은 디트로이트로 이동합니다. 굿뉴스 TV 노주은입니다.